Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to explore one of the most influential and transformative books in the world of financial education, Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This book not only challenges our perception of money, but also offers valuable insights on how to achieve financial independence. If you're seeking financial freedom, want to learn to make better financial decisions, or simply want to understand the principles that can change your financial life forever, then please like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss a thing. We'll delve into the most important lessons from this best-selling book from the different financial philosophies of a rich dad and a poor dad to the fundamental principles of financial education that can transform your relationship with money. This book explores concepts of financial education and mindset regarding money. It describes two different parental models, the rich dad and the poor dad, to illustrate differences in financial and mental approaches to money. Here are some of the key differences between these two models. 1. Mindset Toward Work Rich Dad The rich dad believes that work should be a way to make money work for you, not the other way around. He values entrepreneurship, investments, and creating assets that generate passive income. Poor Dad The poor dad believes that you should work hard for a secure paycheck and often focuses on finding stable, well-benefited employment. He values financial security over financial freedom. 2. Financial Education Rich Dad the rich dad emphasizes the importance of learning about personal finance, investments, and how to make money grow. He seeks opportunities to increase his financial intelligence. Poor dad. The poor dad tends to believe that formal education is sufficient and that earning a degree and finding stable employment is the path to financial success. 3. Assets and Liabilities Rich dad. The rich dad teaches the difference between assets and liabilities. He emphasizes the importance of acquiring income-generating assets like real estate, stocks, and businesses while avoiding liabilities that consume money, such as credit card debt and expensive cars. Poor Dad The poor dad often doesn't make this clear distinction between assets and liabilities and may even consider a personal home as an asset when, in fact, it's a liability that generates constant expenses. 4. Risk-Taking Rich Dad the rich dad encourages calculated risk-taking and the pursuit of investment opportunities. He believes that learning from failure is possible and that taking risks is a part of the path to financial independence. Poor Dad The poor dad tends to avoid financial risks and often prefers to stay within his comfort zone, even if it means missing out on financial growth opportunities. 5. Approach to Employment Rich Dad the rich dad may value entrepreneurship and starting one's own business as a way to achieve financial independence. He sees employment as an option, but not necessarily the only one. Poor dad. The poor dad often values the security of stable employment and may be reluctant to explore other financial options. In Rich Dad, Poor Dad, the author highlights the distinction between assets and liabilities in a very clear and emphatic manner. Assets are like money-making machines in Kiyosaki's view. They're the things you can own that generate money for you, such as properties that you rent to others, stocks that pay dividends, a portion of a company's profits to shareholders, a small business that you own and that generates profits. Kiyosaki argues that these assets are essential for wealth building. On the other hand, liabilities, in the author's view, are like money spending machines. They're the things you own that require you to spend money regularly, such as a car loan that you pay every month, a credit card with increasing debt due to impulsive purchases, a personal home that requires mortgage payments, taxes, and maintenance. The author emphasizes that the importance of understanding this difference is that, to build wealth, it's crucial to acquire more assets than liabilities. According to Kiyosaki, having more assets means that you're generating money that can be used to cover your expenses and increase your wealth. However, having too many liabilities can drain your money and make it difficult to build wealth in his view. Investing in Financial Education The book underscores the importance of investing in yourself, particularly in the area of financial education. Robert Kiyosaki argues that financial education is the foundation of making smart financial decisions. The lesson here is that learning about how money works, how to invest, and how to generate passive income is a valuable investment that can pay dividends throughout life. Investing in Assets The author emphasizes that the key to wealth building is acquiring income-generating assets, as mentioned earlier. He highlights that as you accumulate these assets, your money works for you, generating passive income that can cover your expenses and create wealth. Real Estate as a Solid Asset 
Kiyosaki has a special preference for real estate investments. He argues that buying properties for renting is an effective way to create income generating assets. The lesson here is that the real estate market can be a stable way to build wealth over time. Entrepreneurship and Business Ownership The author encourages the pursuit of entrepreneurship, either through starting your own business or investing in businesses. He believes that entrepreneurship offers opportunities to create income-generating assets and increase your financial independence. Avoiding Bad Debts The book also warns against bad debts, such as excessive use of credit cards for purchasing liabilities like consumer items. The lesson is that it's important to avoid debts that consume income and to seek smart ways to finance investments in income-generating assets. Thinking Differently An underlying lesson throughout the book is the need to think differently about money and investments. Kiyosaki challenges traditional financial norms and encourages people to be more creative and bold in their financial approaches. Certainly, here's a conclusion and a call to action based on the book Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki's book Rich Dad Poor Dad is a transformative journey that leads us to rethink our relationship with money and how we approach wealth building. Some fundamental lessons we've learned are 1. Financial education is the foundation. Financial education is the first step toward a solid financial life. Learning how money works and how to make it work for us is essential. 2. Difference between assets and liabilities. Understanding the distinction between assets, which generate income, and liabilities, which consume income, is crucial. Prioritizing the acquisition of assets is essential for wealth building. 3. Investing in income generating assets. Investing in assets such as real estate, businesses, and financial investments is an effective strategy for creating passive income streams. 4. Entrepreneurship. Being entrepreneurial and seeking business opportunities, even starting small, can be a powerful way to create assets and financial independence. 5. Avoiding bad debts. Bad debts that finance liabilities are dangerous, while debts that finance assets can be strategic. Now that you have a glimpse of the lessons presented in Rich Dad Poor Dad, it's important that you put these concepts into practice. Here are some actions you can take. 1. Read the full book. Kiyosaki's book is a rich source of information on financial education. Read it in its entirety for a complete understanding of the ideas presented, and you can get the book through the link in the description below. 2. Seek additional financial education. In addition to Rich Dad Poor Dad, look for other resources and courses on financial education to enhance your knowledge. 3. Start investing in income generating assets. Evaluate your finances and start planning how to acquire assets that generate income. This may include investing in stocks, learning about the real estate market, or exploring business opportunities. 4. Eliminate unnecessary debts. Review your debts and identify those that aren't helping you build your financial future. Focus on eliminating bad debts. 5. Think entrepreneurially. Be open to business opportunities and entrepreneurship even if it starts small. Remember that the journey toward financial independence may take time, but knowledge and action are the essential first steps. So commit to learning more about financial education and putting it into practice. This channel is the ideal place for that, so subscribe now to reach your financial goals and build a more solid financial future.